Hi everyone, and thank you so much for your lovely comments on the recent community post. I had the craziest couple of days ever, and I have to share it with you guys. So in this vlog, we will of course talk about this, because well, I believe that's the primary reason why you clicked. And I will also tell you all about my early Christmas adventure, where the highlight of it was me sitting in the back of a police vehicle, but not because I've done something wrong, it was just a really nice police officer who pretty much rescued me from danger. So on this note, I want to dedicate this video to good people with kind hearts who really want to help others. So our story begins in the faraway land of British Columbia, with a truly blonde moment of mine. I was trying to install NVIDIA's 470 driver on one of the only devices in the world that's incompatible. So. It took me three days to realize that the graphics card I have inside my old laptop is not even supported by this driver. But the only problem was that by the time I realized that, I was already getting help from NVIDIA's engineers. So I felt so bad for not noticing something so basic earlier and it was just silly. But I'm glad it happened because I could never imagine that this mess up of mine will end with a package being delivered to my house with not only a compatible GPU, but one that dominates the rest of the GPUs on the market for the past year and a half. Now, I don't know if you guys are following tech news or stuff like that, but what I'm talking about is NVIDIA's RTX 3090, which, if you look it up, if you just check out some of its specs, I don't think there's anything even close to it on the market. So needless to say, I'm very happy. So this to me, it's nothing short of a Christmas miracle, so early Christmas miracle. Thank you so much, NVIDIA, and I'm sorry for bugging you, but I'm actually glad I did. Now, with a GPU like this, what, am I just supposed to plug it into my existing computer? I can, but no, it deserves a better house. And it just happened to be that only a month ago, a brand new generation of hardware has arrived. And what I'm talking about is the i9 12th gen processor along with a super fast and an incredibly new RAM technology called DDR5. Now, if you guys are on the market for these DDR5s, you probably know how difficult and almost impossible it is to find one. You think you found one, you order it, you pay for it, just to find out that somebody else already got it first. The inventory wasn't updated on time or things of that sort. So I ended up visiting all the retailers in my area. I ended up calling countless Canadian companies all across the country. I even emailed people who don't necessarily have much to do with retail. I just had to try and nothing seemed to work. And right before I lost hope, I was just about to give up. I decided to reach out to Nick from Linus Tech because if anybody has DDR5 in my area, it's them. If it's technology, it's safe to assume that they have it. So the original plan was for me just to borrow a few of these sticks for the short term while figuring out a permanent solution. So thank you so much to Nick. Thank you so much to the guys in the logistics team. You guys are another Christmas miracle. So yesterday, when I walked into the store, I wasn't expecting to leave with a DDR5 in my hand. I was ready to keep on hustling for this long-term plan. I was ready to keep on calling Quebec, I was ready to keep calling Nova Scotia. I even almost called Western Australia because WA usually means Washington State, which is quite closer. But then another Christmas miracle in the form of Lily and her amazing store manager happened. I basically walked in to Canada Computers Port Coquitlam and they were able to locate a DDR5 for me against all odds. It wasn't in the system. It was not in the inventory. They didn't know how or if they can find it for me, but they still tried. And when they tried, it actually worked. I have it, it's here. And then the police vehicle story happened. So my spouse and I, we were just on our way to pick up the last part, uh, the one that Canada Computers didn't have. And we were just driving on Highway 1, which is one of the busiest highways in the country. And you know, minding our own business until we hear our tire popped. So, of course, we pulled over at the side of the road, you know, as much as possible, because there's not much room there and we drive a truck. 
And we were just waiting for the tow truck to arrive. And it was kind of scary because vehicles are passing in very high speeds right next to you. And it's not very easy to notice um, hazard lights. So luckily, there was a police officer just passing by. He noticed the situation and he said, you know what, guys, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to keep you safe until the tow truck arrives. Because, you know, police vehicle is much easier to, to notice than just hazard lights. So I was super thankful. I was super happy he was there. And then the tow truck arrives. Now, apparently, due to COVID regulations, they're only allowed to pick up the driver. So if there are any passengers in the vehicle, he just leaves them where they are, which is Highway 1. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Highway 1, but if you try to cross it, you will most likely die halfway through. So I wasn't very happy about it. But again, lucky for us, the police officer was there. He said, what's the problem? I'm just going to give you a ride. Just go sit in the back of my uh, vehicle and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Now, I'm a law abiding citizen. I have never visited the back of a police vehicle before. And I was surprised by how uncomfortable it was. You know, usually you you imagine a, a vehicle with, you know, cushions and something, something that's fun to sit on. You imagine a regular car, but no, it's all plastic. Like all the seats are plastic. You look at the, the window, it's full of bars. You know, I see my spouse through the bars and he's just laughing at me. He's talking to the officer. He's telling him, watch out, she's dangerous. And then when we got to a safe location, you know, out of instinct, you just reach out to the door handle, which is obviously not there because people who drive in the back of a police vehicle, they're not supposed to have the ability to voluntarily leave it, okay? <laughs> so that was another blonde moment. But overall, I, this was another Christmas miracle because if the police officer was not there at the right time, at the right place, I would still probably be stuck on Highway 1. <laughs> so thank you so much, dear police officer. You also saved the day. Now, in the next few tutorials, I will show you the real powers of this yet to be assembled beast. And we will primarily focus on accelerating processes with the help of our GPUs. And don't worry, the techniques I will show you, they will work for almost any other NVIDIA GPU, not just the 3090. So the focus is on maximizing the performance of the equipment we already have. If you're curious, I'm talking about CUDA. And if you bought your GPU any time in the past 15 years, you also have it. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope it made you laugh. And I really hope you will find those computer parts you're looking for. Best of luck and I'll see you soon.